Does anyone else do this to determine the wind direction? It's coming from that way. That blackbird does not like that grackle. He's like attacking him. Hmm. One of the best ways to relieve a uh, lower gut ache is might be just doing calf raises. See this? Just bouncing up and down on this thing. I think I'm taking away the the pressure of my lower gut. <clears throat> All right, cabbage and catfish. I've just been chewing away at it. I, I like that. I like the combination. It's just two two things. I steamed the cabbage a little bit. This I didn't. I had to cut it in half just to get this half. I, I steamed the cabbage first and then tossed it for like five minutes and then tossed the catfish in. I'm like, man, I, I kind of want to steam this other one right away to finish off the catfish with. I won't even need toast. Just nice steamed cabbage, steaming on the outside for a nice softness on the outside and a bit of a crunch on the inside. So it looks like I'm going to have four 100% charged batteries. I just need to charge up the laptop. I want to work on it a little bit and then charge that. I'll have a lot of electricity. I can at least go one brick per day, one block per day, so I'll be good for four days. Usually the uh, construction sites will, will be will show like pictures of what you should wear. Instead here they got like, I will not bring firearms rules and stuff. Oh, and they got COVID pro uh, rules for this construction area. All right. <clears throat> all right, after uploading a video all the way at Lowe's, which Lowe's now is close to 9 p.m. instead of seven. So it sounds like improvements with COVID. I'm heading back to my car and taking a back road. And this area looks pretty nice. This does not feel like a ghetto so far. Seems like they clean up pretty good. It's very cramped. There's a lot of cars, but that it doesn't look too messy. So, going down Parkway Avenue. There's no disgusting fences made of several different panels. If they have dogs, they keep them in behind the house, I think. <clears throat> so I did hear one barking. Pretty neat. Yeah, there might be a rule that if you're gonna have fencing, it can only be in the backyard. Right, do the tracks have any significance? I just crossed them. How is it on the other side of the tracks? Actually, it looks the same. It looks really nice again. <clears throat> Maybe a little bit better. <laughs> I might have been in the ghetto. <laughs> wow. People take care of their stuff. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. Never seen a purse like this before. A little flower deal sitting in the water in this drainage. Flower, some flashy purse. They're all together. And then a black purse or a clutch bag or something. Kind of strange to see that sitting here. It's <clears throat> open. Yeah, she probably didn't realize. No, she had a pal jack at it. 
All right, having watched uh, Robin go on th over the freshly grown grass, I asked myself to it, how does it like the freshly mowed grass? And that got me wondering, how do robins like freshly burnt fields? How do, how do these birds or insect devouring animals like freshly mowed, freshly burnt fields? When the worms are charred, the bugs are, the bugs are, are toasted. Do they like toasted insects? Do birds like toasted insects after a fire, after a brush fire? It's curious. I wonder, I wonder if those homeless people, when they were watching the homeless shelter burn in Salinas, in Salinas, California, if they started singing, the roof the roof the roof is on fire we don't need no water let the m -er burn were they cheering that was it a big party for them to have that that homeless shelter to benefit to help them burn down all right people say i make life harder on myself yeah of course i do because that's what the spirit of weightlifting is all about you keep making weights heavier and heavier and you get stronger from it. That's the best. That's a great way to make life harder on yourself. Keep adding the weights so you get stronger. I, I sometimes think about this one guy I got in an argument with in the military. It was like um, all day we were patrolling in, in the Bahrain, the Arabian desert. And we just we were sitting in a truck all day talking and there was something he really used against me that he really didn't like uh, about me uh, we talked a lot about uh, investing I felt like such a pro but you could invest in anything in the early in the late 90s and and get a, a good gain I just I felt I felt pretty good about the, the gains I was experiencing and and he he's he liked talking about that and he, he wanted to like borrow me a book on on how to invest uh, a recommendation or something and I'm like I'm sorry I I don't read anything less than a New York Times bestseller or up you know Pulitzer Prize whatever international bestsellers you know I don't want to read anything below that and he was like what you know he was mad he didn't he didn't like hearing that he was like how are you how do you learn anything not everything you know that's good quality uh, content can be a New York bestseller, especially with investing. I mean, investing books are, are generally not going to be New York Times bestsellers. But I told them that uh, all I want to read are the New York Times bestsellers and up, you know, whatever, generally nonfiction. I focused, and that's what I focused on in my early 20s was uh, reading a, uh, as many books as I could that had, had a little on the cover had had that that reminder that it was a bestseller so I, I i gravitated to those types of books i didn't want to waste my time so much with the lower quality and i just it was just something i was i was uh setting as a standard for myself in my early 20s with with all the reading i was doing All right, back at the mall again today. I never really noticed this. Severe weather corridor. So this is supposed to be more protectant, hanging out on here if they got uh, something crazy. <clears throat> it's kind of amusing to me to think about the direction that this channel that I make is going because it's it's like I see artistic people who are successful making all their crazy artistic shots different angles time lapses and whatever and then I see people talk shows like Joe Rogan show show where they just talk and there's really nothing of a uh, real a lot of video uh, to watch you could shut off the screen and just listen to the people talk I'm trying to like balance in between there i want to be somewhat artistic somewhat talkative 
just strike a balance with that. Some people lean more towards artistry. Some people lean more towards talking. I have a like a feeling that talking is pretty darn important. It's maybe a little more valued by consumers than artistry. But it depends on the artistry, what's being presented that looks cool. Look at that coolness factor. Trying to trying to balance a coolness, cool shots with cool commentary. But both are pretty pretty uh useful I think for channels. There is a high ratio of people who do not close their garage doors. And there's a lot of nice stuff inside. What have you got? Wow, he let me get right up on him. All right, there's this tree in this park. Obviously, intentionally pointed two trees, actually. Here's another one. I'm gonna walk past this one. I can't reach the berries. Actually, I can. They got these berries that grow. Okay. And I tasted a couple. Or I tasted one. And it, I, I kinda like the taste, and it didn't seem to get me sick. What is that? It's very late to leaf. It hasn't even started leafing yet. And the oak trees are way ahead of it. And oak trees are usually late. Very curious tree they planted. All right, so my stomach started feeling sick after bicycling back from the low is about three miles. And it got sick towards the end. It got sick towards the end of the ride. It, I did not feel any problems until towards the end. Motion sickness? Either way, I came over to this picnic table to do some fitness, back stretching, hanging over the edge, and now laying on my back. And then I'm going to turn around and flip around and, and then do some more stretching off the end again. And I don't feel sick. I think it's sp uh, weird spinal compression. Man, something I had stirred my stomach up. Either that or it's from the dirty dishes. I'm not sure. I had chicken and potatoes... Uh, and and then yogurt and red raspberries those are like the main foods uh, I, I don't know what it, it kind of feels like I'm tasting the raspberries with the yogurt I, I ate a lot things feel stirred up it's just upset it's like I feel fine when I'm not moving but when I'm moving it feels it's too stirred up like a sickness it's it's uh it's very frustrating because I really want to keep it down. I, I, I kind of need to eat a little uh, more I th for the night. It's going to be very cold tonight in the high 30s. Uh, but, I mean, I just need to put on extra insulation too. I don't exactly need to eat more to get through it. I wonder if there's a possibility I confused my stomach by mixing yogurt with the chicken and potatoes for a meal. And then the second meal was yogurt and raspberries so yogurt mixed in with everything and I overate and it's trying to digest the raspberries the chicken and the potatoes with all the different enzymes and stretched thin and now it's upset I mean it's it's, it's just bothersome it's not I mean it's been worse all right now that I think of it I did add green onions too I added green onions that might be a factor. I put quite a bit, they're for raw green onions. Oh, all right. 
they got a good echo here this is kind of interesting i've never seen a can recycling center for this uh friends of the animal shelter community uh where they give a warning against steel cans They've had a problem with that.